Modern HTML has some really cool additions that can significantly improve the performance of your website. Let's dive into 5 of them. The first is Fetch Priority. The Fetch Priority property can be added to an image element which tells the browser on how it should prioritize the fetch of the image relative to other images. It can take three values, high, low and auto. High meaning fetch the image at a high priority relative to other images. Low meaning fetch the image at a low priority relative to other images. And auto is the default mode, which indicates no preference for the fetch priority. The browser decides what is best for the user. So basically the fetch priority property allows you to signal high or low priority image fetches. This can be useful when applied to image elements to signal images that are important to the user experience early in the loading process. You can add this property to any image that has the largest contentful paint in order to have it load sooner. Some websites have witnessed an improvement of 20-30% to 30 in their load times upon using this feature. Also note that this is still an experimental feature at the moment make sure to check the browser compatibility before using it. The second cool feature is lazy loading. Chrome loads images at different priorities depending on where they are located with respect to the device viewport. Images below the viewport are loaded with a lower priority but they are still fetched as the page loads. So you can use the loading attribute on an image element to instruct the browser to defer or delay loading of images that are not visible on the screen until the user scrolls near them. This saves you a lot of time as well because you don't have to write custom lazy loading code or use a separate javascript library. The loading attribute takes two values, lazy and eager. Lazy, as we discussed, defers loading of the resource until it reaches a calculated distance from the viewport. And eager is the default loading behavior of the browser, which is the same as not including the attribute and means the image is loaded regardless of whether it's located on the page. The third cool feature is pre-connect. Whenever the browser requests a resource from a server, it first tries to set up necessary DNS lookups, TCP handshake, and TLS negotiation to establish a secure connection with the website or server it's requesting resource from. By using rel equals pre-connect, you can indicate to the browser that it should initiate a connection to the specified origin early in the process, reducing the time it takes to establish subsequent connections. This can result in faster network performance and improved page load times, especially when multiple resources such as style sheets, scripts and fonts need to be fetched from the same origin. The fourth cool feature is rel equals preload. The rel equals preload attribute is an HTML attribute that can be used in the link element to provide hints to the browser to preload a resource before it is needed. By preloading a certain resource, you are telling the browser that you would like to fetch it sooner than the browser would otherwise discover it because you are certain that it is important for the current page. Here, the rel equals preload attribute is used to preload a CSS file named styles.css. The as attribute is set to style to indicate that the resource being preloaded is a CSS style sheet. This tells the browser to fetch and cache the CSS file as a high priority resource. By using rel equals preload, you can preload various types of resources including style sheets, scripts, fonts, images and more. The as attribute value specifies the type of resource being preloaded. These are some common values for the as attribute. The fifth and last cool feature is rel equals prefetch. The rel equals prefetch attribute is an HTML attribute that can be used in the link element to provide hints to the browser to prefetch a resource in advance, even if it is not immediately needed. Prefetching non-critical resources can be beneficial in scenarios where you anticipate the user might navigate to another page or perform an action that would require the prefetched resource. So the resources for a different page the user might navigate to next would be prefetched, allowing that page to be loaded faster when the user actually navigates to it. By fetching the resource in advance, you can reduce the perceived latency and improve the user experience. Note that unlike rel equals preload which fetches resources before they are needed, rel equals prefetch fetches resources that might be needed in the future. Here the rel equals prefetch attribute is used to prefetch an image file named image.jpg. This tells the browser to fetch the image in the background even if it is not currently required by the page. By using rel equals prefetch, you can prefetch various types of resources including images, scripts, style sheets, fonts and more. The browser will fetch these resources during idle time such as when the network is not busy or when the user is not interacting with the page. So those were 5 amazing attributes in modern HTML to easily improve the performance of your website substantially. So that's all for the video. If you found it insightful, don't forget to like and subscribe.